Good morning, Prince fam. Happy Wednesday. Today we have got a bunch of Konica printing to do and then just one job to for sure run on the HP Latex. Um, we are this morning going to be doing three different sets of business cards and then some Valentine's Day cards for Bob and then we need to get some stickers printed on the Latex. And then I need to work on the aprons with a white toner printer and the t-shirts with just some regular heat transfer white. I think, I think that one's it right there. Is that right? Yep, that, that's it right there. That one's white, that one's black, that one's printed. So that's what we're gonna be working on this morning. I'm gonna get everything loaded up in the fiery so that we can get it imposed, make sure the artwork is laid out correctly and go to print. We will also be running to the post office a little bit later today. We should have some packages there and Yeah, should be good times. We'll actually have some production today instead of just you seeing me sitting here So let's go. All right So I'm working on my emails and getting everything ready to print and I got the email from the people that are doing the roll tickets for me and they sent me the invoice and that's a lot different than what I was expecting. The invoice that I got, including shipping, was for $86. And I was expecting the invoice to be for much more than that. Let me pull it up here. So I was expecting it to be $200 plus shipping. The reason why is that is what the pricing was listed via Sage. And I'm not sure where I got my pricing. So the, the quote that I gave my customer was actually right. I'm not going to lose money like I was saying yesterday. Where, where, how, why this happened, I don't know. All I can say is I'm happy about it, that I'm not losing money because I thought my invoice was gonna be 200 plus shipping and I was only invoicing my customer for 175, so I thought I was gonna lose $50 and instead I'm making 100 and, well, like $90. So super thrilled about that, that I'm not losing money anymore. Um, so, yeah, not sure why, not sure what happened, but there we have it. So, still trying to get everything wrapped up to get printed on the Konica. Um, truly, I got kind of distracted answering emails and doing some artwork. Um, I do, one of the things that I guess is different about my business, um, and even different than the way Bob is selling right now, is I have a lot of little sales and while it takes a lot of time and has a lot of effort into it last month I did I think 13 or 14 thousand dollars in sales and that's great and as you can tell like that equates to usually half or less than half of that as far as profit and then I've got thousands of dollars in equipment that I pay out every month and all that fun stuff so like in reality it doesn't equate to that much in my pocket but most of my sales are just a few hundred dollar sales and I do that by having a lot of I try to get a lot of repeat orders so this one that I was working on right now um, I guess two of them I was working on one and they're like a nursing office and they have four or five different people that are always in need of business cards and so it's a great way that when they get a new employee that I can um, make the artwork and print it and then when they need repeat it's just a matter of reprinting and it's super convenient that way so I was working on one for this nursing office sort of thing one for an insurance agent I do a ton of insurance agents um, so that's a great way because they're always giving out cards always knocking doors going to events so they always need business cards and while business cards don't have a huge profit in them once you do the work, the repeat print is not usually that hard. So that's one thing, if you're looking to try to get business, one thing that I have found to be successful is getting a lot of small orders. Um, so I've been working on that, trying to get those wrapped up. Um, probably be printing 
it's 11.20 right now, so I'll probably try to start printing around noon. So back on with the computer work. I need a new computer too, but I don't have any money. So if anyone wants to like donate a newer computer to me, I would appreciate it. Or just use the Amazon affiliate links and buy stuff so that I can afford to get a new one. <laughs> Thanks guys. So one thing I wanted to show you is there was 47, 48 sheets in there and my hopper can only hold about between 12 and 14, depending on how they end up laying. And so what you can do in the Duplo software is you can program how many sheets you want to allow it to feed so that it will automatically stop. So I like to do that because then I don't have to worry about coming out here and catching it. I can hear the machine turn off, come empty the tray, and then get back to work. All right, print fam, we're gonna replace the RAM, or I guess add to the RAM that is in the firing. So obviously the first thing we want to do is turn the thing off. But, while I do that, I want to let you know that the Fiery, at least my Fiery, the way that mine looks, so you get an idea. Not all of them look the same, or are the same, but it's got these security screws on the outside. Those, those don't take the panel off. It's just like any other PC. It's got two screws here in the back, one here, one down there. So don't do what I did and take the panel off because it's just a beauty panel. So it just becomes a pain in the butt to put back on. Anyway, so installing RAM, if you've never done it, is very simple. It is just a matter of making sure one, you have the right RAM and two, Lining it up correctly. So, um, you can see here, I probably shouldn't do it all the time, but oh, there it goes. You can see here there is a little bump. Well, let me get some more. Oh, beautiful. So, you can see. This little bump right here, it's not centered. So, 
we take our ram. And we just make sure that it is lined up. Usually we have to pop these down. Pop those up. And you can see that we've got black on these two and blue on these two. That's because the channel, the memory channels run in pairs. So it's always good to make sure you install them in pairs. So it's just a matter of putting the stick in and pushing until you hear a click. One click. Now, we're going to do the same thing with the other one. Put the ram in. It's a lot easier when this is lying down, but I don't really want to move it. Click number one. Click number two. Now, Let's turn the thing back on. Because if we did it right, it should just power back on. If we did it wrong, you'll hear some beeping. Those are called beep codes. And the computer will be freaking out. But um, this might take a minute. It has to do like memory learning or something, but we should see it. Perfect. If you saw right there, Cam, you want to pause the video that said that that memory was installed so now we'll wait for this to turn back on and we'll check the system all right so now we can see here we've got 12 gigs instead of four 11 and a half is usable that is because the internal or external graphics card probably the internal is consuming half of a gig which that's fine um, now the only problem i have is the hard drive so that is something that I could replace. I'm not sure how much that they would like that. Um, I did already close it without looking. I probably could pull the video up and see, but you can come here to Disk Manager. Oh, furnish turning back on, I don't know why. Probably bumped something. And this will show you how many drives you have. I have, I think just one physical drive. Yeah, so I've got one physical drive that they've split up into two different drives. Um, so it's got the E drive for the Fiery, the C drive for Windows. So um, this is a one terabyte drive that I could replace with an SSD. It would make this thing so much faster, but for now we are going to try just with the RAM. All right, print fam, I am calling it a night. It is almost six o'clock. And I did meet my goal today, so that is super exciting. Um, things are looking really good in the business. Um, I met my goal by 40 bucks, so that was nice to be able to hit it. Bob also had some invoicing. Um, I think he about got halfway to his goal. So things are moving along really well. We've got lots of jobs in monday.com. Got quite a few of them wrapped up today with the production printer. Um, right now it looks like I've got 35, Bob's got 21 and just a lot going on. It seems like a lot of our jobs are promotional products and a lot are printing, what we consider paper printing. So like Konica or some of our outsource partners. Email's looking really good as well. Got down to 10 today. So still a few to go through. Um, yeah, but feeling really, really happy with where things are at. So. Thanks, as always, for watching. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Um, thank you, Cam, for editing the videos. He uploaded some more yesterday, and I've started watching those to get those prepped to release, so thank you for that. Um, reminder that anything you do to support the channel, whether you buy something from Amazon using the Amazon affiliate links or buy business cards, stickers, etc., all of that supports Cam this month. So any love for his direction would be much appreciated.
But as always, we just appreciate you being here. If that's all you do, that is great too. So if you haven't, we'd love to see you subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you feel the video deserved it. And we'll see you next time, Print Fam. Tomorrow, I have to do aprons and shirts all day.